So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Genesis 1, 27. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in a secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. Psalms 139, 13 through 16. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Luke 1, 41. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the fullest. John 10, 10. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, and find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. This is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Ephesians 5, 8-17 through 17. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 The church is the pillar and foundation of truth. 1 Timothy 3.15 The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. 
Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Matthew 16, 18 through 19. That all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me, and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. John 17, 21 For if you remain silent at this time, Relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Esther 4:14. 4, from one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history, in the boundaries of their lands. Act 17, 26. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Put on the full armor of God, so that, when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. With this in mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Matthew 25, 40 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Romans 12, 9 This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with our words or speech, but with actions and in truth. 1 John 3:16. Let this day be a day of significance. A day that we will remember forever, Lord. Let the love of God fill this place. Fill this place, Lord. You are the deliverer. You are our life. You are our future. You are our confidence. You are our firm foundation. You are our desire. You're our all in all. You're our strength when we're weak. We are here for two reasons, to call an end to abortion and the orphan crisis. You gave your life that we might live. You gave your life that these children, these babies might live. We break the covenant of death, and God, we claim life.
we speak life over every mom, every dad. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray that the veil would be removed, that they would see you rightly. Father, we pray right now that hearts would turn to you. They would have an encounter with you. The blinders would come off their eyes. They would catch the revelation that you have a purpose and a plan for the child inside their womb and for them. We are not here to condemn anyone. We are here to point them to the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. There is mercy in the name of Jesus. There is healing. There is forgiveness in the name of Jesus. And like David, we will serve in our generation until Goliath comes down, God. We're here taking our place and our responsibility to stand for life. We ask that your kingdom would come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and the gospel will save it. Mark 8, 34 through 35. This is not about raising up pro-life activists. This is about calling for true followers of Jesus to respond to the Holy Spirit today.